everybody. At this time, Ladies showbiz and gentlemen, pizza place. May I have your attention, please? What? All persons who have not been officially indoctrinated as a calendar head, please remove your calendars at this time. <clears throat> yeah, yes, thank you very much. Uh, like I was saying... I repeat, it, all persons uh, who have not been officially indoctrinated as a calendar head, please remove your calendars at this time. That guy, thank you. Hey, that boy talks funny. Must be from Cleveland. Okay, <clears throat> everybody shut up. Like the man said, we are about to begin the ceremony. Uh, but before we start, let's talk seriously about what it means to be a colander head. It's a big responsibility. It's, it's not like being the president or the queen. It's something important. You'll have an image to uphold, and you must maintain your sense of humility. People may even stop you on the street and say, Hey, I like your hat. What's the deal? You must tell them, Thank you very much, but this is not a hat. It's a colander. I find they'll usually stay away from you like the plague. And some of you may be worrying that people will laugh at you. Do not worry. You get used to it after the first couple of months. <laughs> Just keep in mind, you're wearing the colander to bring honor back to it. It's the unsung hero of Americana. It deserves special treatment. It deserves to be decorated. Decorate it with your favorite things. You can personalize it. Use your imagination. You can, uh, you can stick buttons to it, stickers, uh, banana peels, fondue utensils, dogs, cats, anything you want, you know. If you're nice to your colander, it will be nice to you. Like, 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 if you're a smart person, it'll make you smarter. If you're a pretty person, it'll make you pretty. If you're ugly, stop the music. H how, ma how many ugly people do we have out there? D don't laugh. This is a serious problem. Latest studies show one out of three people are ugly. Let's see here. T take a look at the person sitting on the right side of you. Now, now, now look at the person sitting on the left side of you. Now, if those two people look okay, the ugly one is you. <laughs> now, <clears throat> let's get serious for a moment. We are now ready to commence with the ceremony. All those with their colanders, ugly or not, Stand up at your table. I'll wait. Now place your colander down firmly over your face. Okay. Now repeat after me. <clears throat> I state your name. As I look to the strainer of life. Can see out the little holes. And see the peoples staring at me. But I care not. Because Fats says this is cool. <laughs> Y'all think that's funny out there? Y'all to see what you look like from up here. <laughs> now, <clears throat> uh, place the colander up on your head now and say... I'm a proud colander head, and I don't care, and sit down. All right. Now, you are an official colander head. Let's have three cheers, everybody. Hip, hip. Hey. Hip, hip. Hey. Hip, hip. Hey. Okay, yo, colander head, listen up. Everybody did great. Now, remember, go out and spread the word. That's your responsibility now. Tell your friends and family that think you've gone crazy. <laughs> Plan your own calendar head party, y'all. Take pictures of it and bring them to us. We'll post them out on the bulletin board. <laughs> I'll put them in the calendar gazette. We'll show the whole world you really have gone crazy. Now, now, now listen up. Those people who still haven't been obedient.
individually indoctrinated. Come on back next Wednesday night. Bring everybody down. Bring the whole family. Drag Grandma down here. She'll love it. Come on, folks, here at Showbiz Pizza Place, we're bringing dignity back to the colleges. Hmm. You better believe it. Oh, <laughs>